Hello everyone. Today we're going to set up a live multi-camera show using such a small amount of equipment you should be able to put it in your pocket. Okay, in reality you're probably going to put it in a small bag, but we're going to use two iPhones as cameras, we're going to use a MacBook to control it, and the rest of it is going to happen in the cloud with Mavis. So let's start by heading over to the Mavis Hub, that's at hub.mavis.cloud, I'll pop the link in the description, and start setting up our show. So first I'm going to create a live show. This is like our workspace that we're going to work in. And I'm going to create a two camera social show. That's because, well, we've got two cameras and the social show has got just enough stuff in for us today. So I'm just going to call it two camera show. And I'm going to click create on that. And that's now set up our workspace, which we can now start setting up for our actual show. Uh, the first thing I'm going to do though is actually start up the show. Just going to click start, run it for an hour. That's going to tell me it's going to use just three credits. So basically I'm going to spend more on coffee today than the show. So click start. And what's going to happen is over the next minute and a half or so, that's going to set up all the stuff in the cloud. It's going to connect it together and, and make all the stuff work for the show. But if we were to compare this to a traditional approach, this is saving somewhere in the region of about a day at least I would think because you've got to go and get the stuff, bring it back, unload it, connect it up and you're going to have panels and computers and screens and monitors and cables everywhere. This is just a much simpler and quicker way of doing it. So while this is spinning up let's add some bits and one of the things I'm going to add are the cameras and I use my phones a lot actually with this account so they're already linked. So all I have to do is click on the camera and pick my phone that I'm going to add, just like that. Now, it wasn't actually on. You can see there, there's no green light uh, by the word. But if I now actually just launch the Pro Camera app, you see the light is now green. So you know if the light is green, we are connected. So let's now add this second camera to the show. Just going to go in there and I'm going to check Phil's new iPhone. There we go. Uh, so right, we've now got our two cameras in our show. Our show is also spun up, by the way. So let's go and add our control surface. And today I'm using the app here on the right hand side of my screen. This is just our surface app. So I'm just going to add that. It's already in my account as per usual. So now it will slide into the show. And there we go. We can see our two cameras there connected to our show and running. Now there's a couple of things we can do. For example, I could go into the cameras and maybe I'll just bump the quality up there because it comes in as medium. So I'm going to put it onto high quality there for a moment. I'm going to do that on both of them. And there we go. Our two cameras are now in our show like that. Okay, now these cameras are cloud native, which means they get a load of features automatically. So one of the ones is they're in sync. Secondly, they have tally lights. So if you can see here, there's the tally light. And as I cut the camera on and off program, you can see the tally light coming on and off there. You can also get communications. If I just take a pair of headphones, doesn't matter what type, this is just a plug-in set. I can plug it in the bottom and then immediately I can talk to the director and the director can talk to me or the camera operator. Um, what about sound? Well, these are pretty good. I love these little Rode Wireless Go radio mics. They are really powerful because there's a couple of transmitters put to one receiver. And then the receiver, I think this is the receiver actually, plugs directly into the phone. So all I do is take a cable, plug one end into the receiver, the other end into the phone, and well, now I've got two radio mics in my system, just like that. Interestingly, actually, you can take this transmitter and actually use it as the microphone. Although I don't really like that. I actually prefer using the little lapel mic, the little lav mic there, and you can sort of hide that or tuck it neatly on you. And it's just, it just, I think, looks a bit better. Right, so that's our cameras. They're all set up. I mean, we're good to go, but we don't have to have everything in the same place. I mean, this is cloud-based, right? We just have to be able to connect to the cloud somewhere. So these cameras could basically be anywhere on the planet right now and I could just be sitting here controlling them. So by way of a small demonstration, I'm going to pop them downstairs. So back in a jiffy. Right, and there we go. We are all set up. We can now cut around our two cameras looking at um, <laughs> the prop that we might come to regret. But let's hope it's not going to annoy us too much. Let's now go and add some other bits to our show. So if we go up to sources, the first thing I'm going to do is add some graphics. And I'm going to set the graphics URL there from uh, any HTML5 graphics source. And in this case, I'm going to use Uno 
from Singular Live. It's a great graphic system and it's totally free. Here it is. Uh, I've already pre-made some graphics for our metronome show. See, I did think about this in advance. So what I'm going to do is go up and click the copy output URL. Then I'm going to go back to the Mavis Hub and paste that in there and click update. What this is going to do now is render this in the cloud. This is not being rendered on my machine. My machine's just going to control it. It's all going to be rendered in the cloud, so we just don't have to worry about it. There it is in the graphics output window, which means I can now just hit the DSK button and key it on over the top of our program, which means I can cut the cameras underneath it. There we go. And also, of course, it means I can uh, adjust it and operate it from my machine. So I can turn off for example, the, the lower third there and it animates out or I can turn it on and it animates back in. I can even add the little live bug there if I like. So graphics, very simple. Let's go and add some other things like, for example, some VTs and other, other types of graphics. So let's add an image player. This is a sort of static type of graphic. I'm going to hit a back soon there. And in a second, we'll see it pop up there in position number one. So I can just cut to back soon if I want to. There we go. Let's now add a wipe. So if I go to the wipe player, I can now again pick up any wipe that's in my system. And all these have already been uploaded into the system. I'm not going to insult your intelligence by showing you how to upload a file, but anything that is uploaded can just be brought into a show very easily. So now if I go and do a wipe between these two devices, you'll see it goes, oh, look, there we go. Done a nice little wipe there. We can also bring in VTs. So let's go down to the VT or videos, go down to that section and let me just pick one. There we go, that'll do. And that will just upload that into our player, which means uh, if I cut to it, it will then play the uh, play the vid like that. And there we go. So we've got videos and cameras and graphics and all sorts of stuff in our system. Now let's send it somewhere. So for today, we're going to send it to Twitch. And to do this, I'm going to go to the output section and I'm going to go and add a stream. I'm going to ignore the encoder for now. Now what I'm going to do is pick up my stream key from Twitch. I'm going to, I'm doing it on second screen because it's not that I don't trust you. It's just I don't really want my stream key to be out there for everyone to pick up. So I'm also going to pick up the URL that we're going to send it to. There we go. Put it in there. Now we're ready. Uh, to stream to Twitch. What I'm going to do is hit this little button here and that will start the process. As soon as everything goes red, we know that Twitch has negotiated and it started streaming. There we go. We've got the red light. So if we now go over to the Twitch channel, there we go. There's our program. You'll see it's ever so slightly delayed there on Twitch. But if I just turn it on and off uh, on the graphics, you can see there it is and I can cut around my show and then Twitch will pick it up. And there you go. We've got a complete live show. It's taken next to no time to set up and it's there going out to the world. What about packing it up? Well, it's just as easy. All I have to do is stop the services. So I go hit stop on there, just type stop and they will now stop. That's just a little bit of a, a way to make sure you don't accidentally take your show off air. And there we go all shut down. So you can see that in just a short period of time, we've created from scratch a live multi-camera shoot. We've added the cameras, we've added videos, graphics and stuff, and then we've streamed it out. And now we've just shut it down. And we've used that really small amount of kit to do it. Anyway, if you've got any questions, drop them in the comments, but that's it for now. Bye-bye. Gosh, that metronome's annoying, isn't it?